If we're going to be making games, it's probably a good idea for us to know what games are. Not surprisingly, there's no shortage of definitions of game or debates about them within the game making community. But we'll try to steer clear of that debate and put an informal, relatively non-controversial definition out there. A game is a playful activity where players pursue goals in the face of challenge while following rules. There's a lot to unpack here, but let's start with some basics. By far the most important takeaway from this definition is that games are playful. In other words, games are supposed to be fun. This may seem obvious, but if there's nothing else you remember as you start to learn the ropes of game making and coding, remember that at the end of the day, if the games you make aren't genuinely fun, they aren't really succeeding as games. A close second in terms of importance is that games are activities. This also may seem obvious, but the subtle point here is that games are interactive. Unlike other kinds of media like books and movies, games depend on the player doing something and playing an active role in how the game unfolds. We call the things players do when they play a game mechanics. Mechanics are an important concept in game design because what you do when you play a game defines what that game is all about. The mechanics of a game are sometimes called the verbs of the game because they can be described with active verbs like running, jumping, blasting, collecting, racing, and so on. Games usually have many mechanics, but are often anchored in one mechanic that gives the game its basic identity. We call this the core mechanic. A few other important ideas are contained in our definition of game. Games involve pursuing goals, which makes them different than other fun activities like, for example, a small child playing with blocks. But achieving these goals isn't automatic. The players face some sort of challenge they must overcome to achieve them. That challenge can come in many forms, like the built-in difficulty of doing something, say fighting a difficult boss in a video game, or from having to compete with other players. But players can't do just anything to achieve their goals and overcome the game's challenges. Games have rules that must be followed, limiting what players can do as they play. Games include not only the things we traditionally think of as rules, like the rule that says most players can't touch the ball with their hands in soccer, but also behind the scenes rules that aren't so obvious. For example, the movement speed set by the game's designer for your avatar in an FPS, that's a rule. The laws of physics are also rules of many real world sports and video games. Soccer sure would look a lot different without gravity, right? The goals, mechanics, challenges, and rules of a game are accompanied by two other important elements, the game's space and the components. Things like players and alien enemies, soccer balls, and goalposts. When designing and making a game, these six elements are your tools for creating fun. The essence of game design is arranging the game's space, components, mechanics, challenges, goals, and rules so that you create an experience where it is fun for the player to overcome the challenges you create as they try to achieve the game's goals.